So we know everyone loves Green Hill Zone. You love Green Hill Zone appearing in every single Sonic game, don't you? You love it, right? Well, obviously not, apparently. So in this video today, I want to discuss what I think is the actual problem with this stage, Green Hill Zone, appearing in recent Sonic games. So let's begin. So I think basically the main point as to why people don't like it is it's always treated as this la di da di da happy place, and it's always usually the first stage of the games. It's all just happy, aha, Sonic, Green Hill Zone, just like how Mario has the Mushroom Kingdom, Sonic has Green Hill Zone. So I think that's the biggest you right there it's always the starter stage and it gets repetitive once you do that for every damn game you do Sonic Mania did it Sonic Forces did it Sonic Generations did it Sonic Lost World did it all the first stages of the game and they're always treated and presented the exact same way but I think a way that people would actually enjoy Green Hill Zone again in Sonic games is if they went about it in a different approach. So I'm going to give you an example and I used this on Twitter but in Sonic Forces we had some concept art that showed off like Green Hill Zone in a prison camp area. Now if this was in the game, let's just say this was like a stage that was in the middle of the game, not the beginning, and it was actually like kind of a hard stage, and the background was all black, and there was lightning everywhere, and it gave this Green Hill Zone like a grudgy look, and you change the music to be like really grudgy, really like edgy, and make Green Hill Zone seem like a scarier place, I think people would have actually enjoyed that. So I think the main solution for Green Hill Zone in the Sonic games is they should always try and find a new way to actually incorporate this zone into the games. Don't just do the same first stage of the game every single damn time. Because Green Hill Zone itself isn't a bad stage. It's not bad aesthetically. It's the way you want to present this stage. Do you want Sonic's icon to just be Green Hill Zone? Or do you want Sonic to be this unique brand that can show off a variety of stages and show that the series still has creativity or do you just want to lean back on nostalgia? That's the biggest issue. It just leans back on nostalgia instead of trying to evolve what the stage is and find new ways to incorporate it. Because even in games like Sonic Advance 3, it was like Sunset Hill, it wasn't the first stage, it was the second zone, but they still tried to find a new look for it, a new feel. And then in Sonic 2, we had Green Hills, and that was like a hard stage. You had to go on those paraglider things. I'm pretty sure that was in that stage. It was a new way to show off Green Green Hill Zone, it wasn't just blue skies, green grass and everything, it was actually different and if they do that for a future Sonic game, hell, if they do that for Team Sonic Racing, that would be pretty damn cool but I don't think they will. I think with Green Hill Zone and Team Sonic Racing, it's going to look like the one from Sonic Generations because they love to present that version of Green Hill Zone, which does look pretty great of course, it's a really great art style, it's a really great way to show off Green Hill Zone, but it's just kind of boring in the end. And I think you guys would agree with me that Green Hill Zone has just gotten boring because it's always the exact same thing every single time. So let's hope in the future if they ever do want to put Green Hill Zone in another Sonic game again, they actually do something different with it. And that's the main point I want to get across in this video. Let me know if you agree or not in the comment section below. Well, do you want to see Green Hill Zone back? And if you do, how do you want to see it back? Let me know. Make sure to follow my social media links in the description below. I've got Discord and I've got Twitch. I've been live streaming on Twitch. So if you want to see live streams from me, make sure to check out my Twitch and make sure to subscribe to me on YouTube for more videos like this. I do Sonic news, discussions, updates, gameplay, live streams, as well as some Nintendo stuff, but I haven't done any in a while because there's literally nothing to talk about. But with all that said, guys, thank you all for watching and I'll definitely make sure to catch you all later. Thank you